Good afternoon, beloved children of God. Welcome to the Nigerian Global Prayer Mandate. As the sun stands above at noon, so too shall this nation rise to her shining. It is now time for our Mothers and Faith Ministration. Let us join today's mother to travail in birth again until we bring forth a glorious nation. Nigeria will rise and fulfill her destiny in the world. Wherever you are, join us now. Now it's not about the condition but the substance. So tell me, what are you made of? What are, what are you made of? What are, what are you made of? Do you rise and fall? Are you standing tall? Giving up or you holding on? What are you made of? Africa is like a gun pointed down. Its torrent of muscle is South Africa. Its trigger is Nigeria. 1983. Nigeria and Nigerians will be known all over the world for corruption. Your name, Nigeria, was stink for corruption. But after a while, a new phase will come, a phase of righteousness. People from the nations of the earth will hold to a Nigerian and say, we want to follow you to your nation to go and learn righteousness. 1986. Prophecies are fulfilled when the church take responsibility for it. Join us in this 60 days of prayer ahead of Nigerian 60th independence anniversary. Jesus is Lord. Lord Jesus, come and reign in our country. 
come and have your seat in the north in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, come and reign in our northeast. Come and reign in the north. Come and reign in Nigeria. Father, let us feel your impact in this nation. We want to feel your impact in the northeast. We want to feel your presence in the north. Lord, take God, Lord, begin to move. Lord, we join our hand together with my brethren all over the nation, all over the northeast, all over the
You reign, you ancient Zion King. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion King. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Over North East, you reign, O oh, ancient Zion King. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. 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 You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Shadows, shadows. You are mighty on your reign. You reign. Over Nigeria, you reign. You reign. Oh, you ancient Zion King. Over North East, Kadosh, Kadosh, you reign. You are mighty on your reign. You reign. You reign. You ancient Zion King, Kadosh. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. It's a wonderful day to be in the presence of God. And I want to start by giving glory to God and honor to him. And also to appreciate the Nigeria Global Prayer Mandate, NGPM, for inviting me to be part of this historic move as we press in the spirit and pray to our God, even concerning our nation, Nigeria, um, for the 60 days outlined until we reach October 1st, when Nigeria will be celebrating her 60th birthday. Well, I have been assigned to pray uh, concerning the Northeast, and in particular, governance, on the issue of governance. And so we're going to start with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
We thank you for such a time as this. We lift up our voices, even concerning Nigeria and in particular the Northeast. Father, we're going to bring our petition before you, our supplication, our lamentation. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you incline your ear towards me today as I pray and that you will hear this prayer, oh God, that you will answer speedily in the name of Jesus. According to your word, you said, if your people who are called by your name shall humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways and pray, Father, you promise you will hear from heaven and you will forgive us our sins and cleanse our land. Father, we come in humility of the spirit, O God. We come acknowledging that you are God over the nations, you are governor over the nations. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. North East belongs to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, Lord, we declare tonight that you will hear our prayer and you will answer us that your name might be glorified. Now, I'm going to talk about the situation in the, in the North East through the word of God. And I would like to start from Psalm 94. Um, I would like to, I will read and then pray intermittently as the Spirit of God will help us tonight in Jesus' name. So in Psalm 94 quotes and I read, O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs, O God, to whom vengeance belongs, shine forth, rise up. O judge of the earth, render punishment to the proud. Lord, how long will the wicked, how long will the wicked triumph? Now it looks like the wicked are triumphing in the Northeast and they are making governance almost impossible. One of the major responsibilities of governance in our nation or in any country as a whole is the protection of lives of his citizens. And that has been made impossible by the insecurity and the terrorist groups that have been in the Northeast, literally making the law powerless because they do what they want, they kill at will, and they are not brought to book. We have not seen anybody that is that has been arrested and tried and persecuted and prosecuted for what they're doing in the North is. So people literally get away with murder. And we're going to pray. The psalmist started by making a declaration, Oh Lord God to whom vengeance belongs. There are many people that have been taken advantage of, many people killed, many poor, many voiceless, many powerless. We're going to ask God to avenge the unrighteous acts and the evil acts and the wicked acts that have been done against the people in the Northeast. And the first prayer point is that God will shine forth in the Northeast in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I lift up the Northeast before your throne of grace. Oh God, to whom vengeance belongs, I ask that you will shine forth in the Northeast. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will shine forth in Borno State. You will shine forth in Adamawa. You will shine forth in Taraba. You will shine forth in Bauchi. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will shine forth in Gombe. In the name of Jesus, you will shine forth in Yobe. In the mighty name of Jesus, arise, O God, to whom vengeance belongs, and show forth your power, and avenge the blood of the innocent. And avenge, Lord, the church that has suffered in the North East. Avenge every unrighteous act that has been meted out to your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Every unrighteous act to the poor, the powerless, the voiceless, the innocent in the North East. Arise, O oh God, O oh God to whom vengeance belongs. Arise, O oh God, and shine forth. You judge of the earth. Render punishment to the proud in the name of Jesus. Let not the wicked continue to triumph in the Northeast. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 
talking about the wicked in the Northeast, the Northeast is made up of six states, as you must have heard um, when I prayed. It's made up of Adamawa, Bauchi, Borno, Gombe, Taraba, and Yobe states. Now, what happens with the wicked in the Northeast? The Bible says they utter speech and speak insolent things. All the workers of iniquity boast in themselves. We are witnesses to the fact that not too long in the distant uh, uh, past, we saw where the governor's convoy himself in Borno state attacked by terrorists. This has never happened in Nigeria before. It has gotten to the point where no one is safe. And you know, of course, it's not just about the governor, but we cannot forget the Chibok girls in Borno state that were abducted, is getting to how many years now, almost five years, and still there is no news of their rescue. They are still in captivity. The government has failed them. The government that was meant to protect them have failed. And because of that, the wicked in the Northeast are boasting. They are boasting by the insolent things, the videos they send, and what they declare about themselves, and how they even taunt the authorities of this nation. It's as if they have no power over them. The Bible says they utter speech and speak insolent things. All the workers of iniquity boast in themselves. They break in pieces your people, O Lord, and afflict your heritage. The church has suffered intolerable suffering, you know, in the Northeast. The Bible says they break in pieces your people. They afflict your heritage. They go into our churches. They commit atrocities in our churches. They kill in the church. They mock our God in the church. Then they set it on fire, afflicting the heritage of God. The Bible says in verse 6 that they slay the widow and the stranger. They murder the fatherless. And they say the Lord does not see, nor does the God of Jacob understand. I want us to address their insolent speech that the Lord God will cut off their tongues in the name of Jesus, that they will speak no more in the name of Jesus, that they will speak no more so proudly, so wickedly, as if there is no God in heaven. So, Father, we ask that you will arise and address every insolent speech that has been released against your heritage, against the church, against constitutional authority, against government, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask for judgment, even against what they have done to widows, to orphans, to the fatherless, boasting that the Lord does not see and behaving as though God does not understand. Arise, O oh God, and address their insolent speech in the name of Jesus and deliver your heritage in the northeast in the mighty name of jesus broken the people in pieces but the church cannot be broken and so father we pray for your strength upon the church in the northeast that the church of the living god is marching on and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church in the mighty name of jesus christ shut the mouth of the proud O oh god Shut their insolent speeches, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and show them that there is a God in heaven who observes their wicked deeds and that nothing is hidden before you. And in the fullness of time, you will speak and you will address them in your sore displeasure in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh God, because we, the mouth of the, the wicked will speak no more proudly in the Northeast by the power of the Almighty God in the mighty name of Jesus. They said that the God of Jacob does not understand. It means he does not pay attention. But you and I know that nothing escapes the gaze of the Almighty. 
Everything is laid bare before him and in the fullness of time, he will address in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My third prayer point from Psalm 94. He says in verse 8, Understand, you senseless among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? He who planted the ear, shall he not hear? He who formed the eye, shall he not see? He who instructs the nations, shall he not correct? So the Bible refers to these people that think that God does not see what is going on in the northeast. God, the Bible addresses them as senseless people and fools. Anybody who does not think that God is not observing them. Anybody who thinks that God has not seen or that God has not heard their insolent speech is in for a shock. Because the Bible says in verse 10 that he who instructs nations, shall he not correct? Father God in heaven, bring correction. To the northeast in the name of jesus bring correction in the name of jesus show them the futility of their thoughts the futility of their speech in the mighty name of jesus begin to rule and govern for you reign O god the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof including the northeast therefore god will reign in the northeast and no principality, no power. We bind the strong man of the East in the mighty name of Jesus. We spoil their works. Kantele Bahaya. Zoke Tayin Bori Kashuka Tulaba. Balegode Skendabaya. Rekos Katoborodobo Shinta. The conspiracy of the wicked. Mashinta Labos Kedebaha. Makerene Maso. The plundering of the North East, Kento Lobo Sika Tuyanda Bahaya, Rekos Katabaliko Des Gede Bashanda, he shall not prosper in the name of Jesus, but the Lord will speak and speedily, and he will bring correction in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed is the man whom you trust. Whom you instruct, O oh God, <coughs> excuse me, and teach out of your law. Verse 13 says that you may give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit is dug for the wicked. Hallelujah. <laughs> the pit, that is their grave. The pit will be dug for the wicked in the north is in the mighty name of Jesus. But the Lord will instruct the righteous and teach out of his law. Because the Bible says in verse 14, For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment will return to righteousness. And all the upright in heart will follow him. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to say, oh God, we lift up the church in the northeast. They are in the and give them rest from this adversity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the pits be dug for the wicked. In the name of Jesus. That they will rule no more. That they will not rule in unrighteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, your word says that the Lord will not cast forth his people, nor will he forsake his inheritance. Our Father and our God, we ask that you will arise and show your people that they are not forsaken.
Why is God passing judgment on Mount Seir? Verse 5 tells us the reason. He says, because you have had an ancient hatred and have shed the blood of the children of Israel by the power of the sword at the time of their calamity when their iniquity came to an end. Wow. God is talking about an ancient hatred against the church, against his people in the Northeast. And because of that, the law says he's going to stretch his hand against Mansia in Northeast and make them desolate. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord, I will prepare you for blood. Therefore, blood shall pursue you. Father, we ask that in this dispensation, you will address the ancient hatred against your people, the ancient hatred against the church of the living God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will address the blood of the children of Israel that has been shed by the power of the sword in the name of Jesus, because it was the time of their calamity. But now, oh God, let their iniquity come to an end in the name of Jesus. Father, according to your word, those who live by the sword will die by the sword. And therefore, you will prepare them for blood, and blood shall pursue them. Since they have not hated blood, therefore blood shall pursue them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Verse 7 says, Thus I will make man see a most desolate and cut off from it the one who lives and the one who returns. And I will fill its mountains with, it, with the slain on your hills and in your valleys and in all your ravines. Those who are slain by the sword shall fall. I will make you perpetually desolate and your cities shall be uninhabited and you shall know that I am the Lord. Because you have said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess them, although the Lord was there. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord God, I will do according to your anger and according to the envy. <laughs> now we know what is behind that hatred. It is called envy. God says, I will do according to your anger and according to the envy which you showed in your hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I judge you. Father, we speak your word in Ezekiel 35 to the northeast. We ask, O oh God, that you will rise and confirm your word. Address their anger and address their ancient hatred against your people and envy which they have shown in their hatred. Make yourself known among them in the name of Jesus. We pray for the salvation of those who have not put their hands to unrighteous acts. We pray that you will have mercy upon the innocent. We pray that this will be a time of great harvest for your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, have mercy upon your people. Deliver your people from the sword of the wicked, from the ancient hatred in which they have hated them, from the rage, the anger, the envy. Lord, address it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we give you praise and glory. The Bible says in verse 12, Mande rekato labosh kere baha, rekas kota lina mazenta labushke, riba labos satayandere de bahala, ragodos zegeriana mazonta labushke, marikados kere bahaya, mantore de bazota labushke, mare balikados kenda barina mazota labushke, 
mareka dus katayanda baha reko koko satali bazeta la busha malebo zotarina mazoko toshke regado zangado shkede baha Rekolina mozonta la bushke de bazura na malada boske. Makos kata ba reke keke bo santa. Re bali bo sata ya koro do boske. Mantele boske da bahaya. Ila bo stara do boske da boro do bo zita la bo. Rabo zata la boske da bara. Eka la bo sata ya nde. Ira mo stara do moshtele de bo zoto boro do boske. Makos koto bo rina mazunta la bosh. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thus said the Lord, with your mouth you have boasted against me and multiplied your words against me. Hear ye the word of the Lord today. The Lord says, I have heard them. Hallelujah. I have heard them. I have heard the proud. I've heard the wicked. I've heard the unrighteous. I've heard their blasphemies. The Lord says, I've heard your blasphemies, which you have spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying they are desolate and they are given to us to consume. Thus said the Lord, I have heard your blasphemies. I've heard your pride and I've heard your words which you have spoken against me. Thus said the Lord God of Israel, the whole earth will rejoice when I make you desolate in the name of Jesus. The Lord says, as you rejoiced, because the inheritance of the house of Israel was desolate, so I will do to you. Say the Lord, you shall be desolate, O man seer, as well as all of Edom, all of it, then they shall know that I am the Lord. Father, make yourself known in the midst of your people and amongst the nations. Make yourself known. Shine forth, O God. Shine forth. Let your voice be heard. Let your voice be heard. Let your voice be heard. <laughs> Let the mountains hear your voice, the hills, the valleys, the rivers, the trees. Let them hear your voice and let them tremble at your voice. Do that which you have ordained you will do at this time. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last scripture I'm taking. Sorry, not the last. Second to the last. I must not lie. <laughs> Ezekiel 36. It quotes and I read, And you, son of man, prophesy to the mountains of Israel and say, O mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Now it is God's time to speak to the church in the northeast. God has spoken to the enemies of the church in the northeast. Now he's speaking to his people. O mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, because the enemy has said of you, Aha, the ancient heights have become our possession. Therefore prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord God, because they made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side so that you became the possession of the rest of the nations and you were taken up by the lips of talkers and slandered by the people therefore O mountains of Israel hear the word of the Lord God thus says the Lord God to the mountains the hills the rivers the valleys the desolate wastes and the cities that have been forsaken and I want to add the villages in the northeast that have been forsaken because of terrorists who have sacked them and taken over their land. He says, say to the rivers, the valleys. You see, God is not even talking about the, the, the cities alone. He's talking about the villages, the rivers, the hills, the valleys, the mountains. He said the desolate waste and the cities that have been forsaken. 
which became plunder and mockery to the rest of the nations all around. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, surely I have spoken in my burning jealousy against the rest of the nations and against all Edom, who gave my land to themselves ah, as a possession. Wow. Can you take what belongs to God and say it is yours? God says you have taken my land for a possession. And he says, <clears throat> with wholehearted joy and spiteful minds in order to plunder its open country. Mantole bazeke takayako koko. Hey, karibo satalaboshta. Therefore, prophesy concerning the land of Israel and say to the mountains, the hills, the rivers, and the valleys, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and my fury, because you have borne the shame of the nations. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I have raised my hand in an oath, that surely the nations that are around you shall bear their own shame. Hallelujah! They shall bear their own shame in the name of Jesus. Therefore I prophesy to the mountain of Israel, to the rivers, the valleys, the hills, the desolate wastes, the cities, the villages that have been forsaken in the northeast, I prophesy unto you, you who have become a mockery to the rest of the nation. I prophesy according to the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and my fury because you have borne the shame of the nations. Hear ye the word of the Lord. The Lord says, I've raised my hand in an oath that surely the nations that are around you shall bear their own shame in the name of Jesus. Hear ye the word of the Lord. In verse 8, Ezekiel chapter 36, it says, But you, mountains, O mountains of Israel, you shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people Israel, for they are about to come. Can I hear amen? and hallelujah, and praise the Lord. God says, for indeed I am for you, and I will turn to you, and you shall be tilled and be sown. Lord, let it be according to your word, to your people in the northeast. Let them begin to shoot forth their branches. Let them begin to yield fruits to your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that you are for them that you will turn to them, that your people shall be tilled and sown in the name of Jesus. Here again, what the Lord says, he says, I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, all of it, and the cities shall be inhabited and the ruins rebuilt. He says, I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bear young, I will make you inhabited as in former times. I hope somebody is dancing and shouting and praising the Lord. I will make you inhabited as in former times. This is a word of restoration. This is a word of revival. This is a word of blessing. He says you will shoot forth your branches. You will yield fruit. God says I am for you. He says, I will multiply men upon you. He says, I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bear young. That is prosperity. He says, I will make you inhabited as in former times and do better for you than at your beginnings. Hallelujah. God will do better for the Northeast than at their beginnings. And he says, then you will know that I am the Lord your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah.
Amen. Hallelujah. <coughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He says, yes, I will cause men to walk on you, my people, Israel. They shall take possession of you and you shall be their inheritance. No more shall you bereave them of children, thus says the Lord God. Because they say to you, you devour men and bereave your nation of children. Therefore, you shall devour men no more. Nor bereave your nation anymore, says the Lord your God. Nor will I let you hear the taunts of the nations anymore. Nor bear the reproach of the peoples anymore. Nor shall you cause your nation to stumble anymore, says your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Northeast will not cause Nigeria to stumble anymore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mare Molekene Sakatoshke. Re Balabo Santaradoboshke. One last scripture and we're done for today. Rekos Katabale de Deba. Mandoro dobo zita la bahaya. Zuko toshke de barina mazunta la bushke. Riba zoko tondere de balada bazota. Reba baba baba zoko torina mazota la bushke. Mendere kusaka tolo do bush. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know, the Northeast is made up of six states, like I mentioned earlier. Adamawa, Bauchi, Borno, Gombe, Taraba, and Yobe. Amen. And six is the number of man. You know, when I think about the Northeast, I think about the parable of the woman at the well in John chapter 4. The Bible says she met Jesus, and Jesus knew what her issue was. He said, you have had five husbands. And the sixth one that you are living with, even now, is not your husband. She was not complete until she met the seventh man. We are going to prophesy that the Northeast, that is made up of six states, the number of man, the number of flesh, you know, the number that represents dust, you know, just like that woman who kept on seeking, seeking, and was plundered by all the men she went through. She was never complete until she met the seventh man. We're going to prophesy that the Northeast will meet the seventh man. And his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Northeast will carry the gospel of Jesus Christ to the rest of Nigeria and the nations of the earth. In the name of Jesus. That's why Satan is so bent on exterminating and destroying the Northeast. Father, in the name of Jesus, we prophesy that the Northeast will meet the seventh man. Let there be a mighty revival in the Northeast, that people will come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, that Jesus, you will truly be Lord in the Northeast, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that you will be her seventh man, and you will bring completion to the Northeast, that all the states in the Northeast will turn to the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you and we bless your name. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Shall we begin to thank God? We give you praise, oh God. We give you praise for this awesome time in your presence. We thank you for the things you are doing. We thank you because your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Your ways are higher than our ways, Father God. We thank you because you're a God of wisdom. You're a just God. We thank you because vengeance belongs to you. You will avenge. We thank you because you are governor amongst the nations. You're governor. You're in charge of the Northeast. And you're the seventh man that the Northeast is waiting for. We receive you with joy, with thanksgiving on behalf of the Northeast in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I hope you have been blessed by this time of prayer. I charge and encourage us all to please continue in prayer and push in the spirit until we birth forth the purposes and the plans of God. 
not just for the Northeast, but for our nation, Nigeria. God bless you. Amen. The mercy of God upon Nigeria. Isaiah 62. For Nigerian's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for Nigeria's sake, I will not rest. Until her righteousness goes forth as brightness, and her salvation as a lamp that burns. The Gentiles shall see your righteousness, and all kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord will name. You shall also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no longer be termed forsaking, nor shall Your land and more be.